Hi there. Uh, today in the lab, I'm going to be demonstrating uh, resistors in parallel. What I have here are five resistors. I have a 680 kilo ohm resistor, a 56 kilo ohm resistor, a 7.5 kilo ohm resistor, and then two 270 ohm resistors. And I have a DMM here, a digital multimeter. I'm going to be using it for measuring the resistance of the resistors and then equivalent resistance or total resistance. And then I'll also be using the DMM to measure the current. I have a power supply here and I'm going to light up an LED which is here and vary the resistance, the current limiting resistor or resistance going to that LED. And you can see how the brightness changes depending on the resistance, the total resistance. So right now I have, uh, I'll turn the DMM on to ohms. So it's measuring Right now, you should see uh, zero, er, uh, zero or OL for overload. So there's no res or infinite resistance right now between this point here and this point. These resistors are connected, um, tied, tied together by the switches here, and then the bottom resistors are tied together. So the switch just allows me to put each individual resistor in the series or, or all the resistors. Um, so let's start with the first one here, 680. So as you can see on the DMM here, it's 0.680, but it's in mega ohms, so that's the same as 680 kilo ohms. And I'll move the next one over. So now we have 680 kilo ohms and 56 kilo ohms in parallel. The total resistance is 51.76. I'll put the third resistor in parallel. So 680 kilo ohm, 56 kilo ohm, and now a 7.5 kilo ohm for the total resistance of 6.5 kilo ohms. And now a 270 ohm, the total resistance or equivalent resistance is 259 ohms and then the last resistor another 270 ohm resistor the total resistance now is 132 ohms so you notice that the total resistance the equivalent resistance is less than any one of these resistors and that's just how resistors work when you place them in parallel the total or equivalent resistance will be less than any one of the resistors so if I turn all of them off or take take them all out of the circuit except for the two 270 ohm resistors, you'll see it's 135, which is exactly half of one of these. And when you have two resistors in parallel that are the same value, you're gonna have exactly half the value. If I were to have like three 270 ohm resistors, um, you, you could easily calculate the total resistance by taking 273 or 270 divided by three, and that would be your total resistance. So I hope that helps a little bit. Um, I'm going to now power the LED with the power supply. So I'm gonna disconnect this guy. And this comes over here. And I'm using six volts on the power supply. And I have a current limiting on the power supply of about, let me change the, the measurement to milliohms or microohms. And I'm gonna move this wire over here to bring the LED into the circuit. So I'll turn all these over. Uh, again, the, the, the power supply is current limited to about 50 milliamps. So um, it's, it's powered up, the power supply is on. You can see there's basically zero, zero amps or zero milliamps coming through here actually. So what's going on, I have the power supply coming out, it's going into the DMM and it's going through the current sense resistor within the DMM, that's what gives us the current reading and then the current comes out into the top of the, the breadboard here, which feeds the resistors. The current comes through the resistors, up over here through the LED, and then back to the power supply. So you have your current loop. So I'll turn on the first resistor, 680 kilo ohms, and a little bit of current's coming through, really high resistance. You'll see just a little bit of the LED. The LED is just barely turned on, and you can see 500 or 5.27 microamps, so not very much current. We'll turn the next resistor on. So the LED is a little bit brighter, 67 microamps. And we'll turn, so that's the 600 kilo ohm in parallel with the 56 kilo ohm. And now I'll put the 7.5 kilo ohm in parallel. And now the LED is quite a bit brighter. Total resistance is five, or, or pardon me, the total current is, or the current going through the LED and the, the resistors in parallel is 518 microamps. And then we'll put the 270 ohm in parallel. So a lot brighter now and give this time to uh, do its magic. So 11 milliamps now is flowing through these four resistors and the LED. And then the last one, now the LED is much brighter and we have about 21 milliamps flowing through the LED. 
so we can back these off individually and you can see the LED get a little dimmer, 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 and then off. So uh, I hope this is helpful, again, showing parallel resistors uh, or resistors in parallel, how they work, and then also how you can use resistors in parallel uh, to limit the current um, going to an LED to adjust its brightness. Thank you for watching.